So I'm sure that you've already seen this, but I had to talk about this because it's just too good to not discuss this on the program. So Republican Congresswoman Nancy Mace appeared on two different mainstream media outlets in the same day, and she spoke about the same subject on both networks. Now, what you're going to see is two completely different things that she's saying in a shameless attempt to pander to two very different audience types. Take a look. Uh, in some studies that I've read, natural immunity gives you 27 times more protection against future COVID infection than a vaccination. And so we need to take all of the science into account and not selectively choosing what science to follow when we are making policy decisions. Uh, and and I, I've been a proponent of vaccinations and, and wearing masks when we need to. When we had the Delta variant raging in South Carolina, I wrote an op-ed to my community and I've worked with our State Department of Health. I've run ads encouraging uh, my district to go and get vaccinated. And when we have these variants and we have these spikes to take every precaution from washing our hands to wearing the N95 or KN95 masks uh, more than the medical masks, there is a significant, statistically significant uh, number of people that are protected from COVID when they wear those masks. And Shameless. I mean, this is kind of the inverse of Dave Rubin and Joe Rogan, where they'll bring someone on and just agree with everything that they say. But her, she's going on different networks and she's saying what she knows their viewers want to hear. I mean, I don't like political chameleons. Just take a stance based on your beliefs, based on the evidence and stick to it. I mean, sure, you can tweak your message to an extent to appeal to certain people. You can change the way that you frame it. But this right here, I mean, this is shameless pandering. She's saying two contradictory things. Now, the clip cut it off, but uh, she goes on to uh, contradict herself even more as she talks. Uh, so, Mediaites Alex Griffin explains that she said, COVID-19 is very serious business. I'm a long hauler, she said. This is a disease and illness we should take seriously. I want to encourage the American people to talk to their doctors and talk about getting vaccinated. I was recently diagnosed with asthma and I had COVID-19 a year and a half ago. I'm still feeling the repercussions a year and a half later. So she knows that getting COVID-19, getting natural immunity by having COVID-19 is obviously less preferable than getting the vaccine because in order to get said natural immunity, you have to subject yourself to a very serious illness that is going to leave you most likely with long-term health ramifications, if not death. So the fact that she's saying this, being a long hauler, uh, saying this on Fox News specifically, it just makes it a lot more nefarious. On Fox News, she was responding specifically to the way that Ron DeSantis handled COVID-19. And she said, you know, in some studies I've read, natural immunity gives you 27 times more protection against future COVID than a vaccination. So she knows firsthand how bad COVID-19 is. And yet she still said that on Fox News because she knew that that's what they wanted to hear. Look, if she knew that that's what they wanted to hear, imagine if she challenged orthodoxy on Fox News. Imagine if she said something that they weren't already waiting to hear. Rather than confirming their pre-existing biases, you could have maybe changed a couple of minds. I mean, most of Fox News audience would not have liked you saying that, but you could have made somewhat of a difference. But instead, you chose to be a coward and pander to Fox News and their viewers. And then you pandered to CNN's viewers by talking about how you support mask mandates. And, uh, vaccination. It's just, this is why politicians are so hated in America because they're so slimy. They're so sleazy. And this is, this is really brazen. I mean, she's saying this in the same day. I mean, imagine waking up in the morning thinking, you know what? COVID vaccines are unnecessary because natural immunity is preferable. And then by the time you go to bed, you change, you, you go from one end of the spectrum to the complete opposite. And you think, you know what? No, no, no. I support vaccines, uh, masking up, washing your hands, social distancing. It's, it's preposterous. So it's clear that nobody would think this in this contradictory of a way, right? These views are in competition with one another, right? You can't think natural immunity is preferable, but also really support the vaccines. And maybe, you know, she has a more nuanced opinion here, but I think it's clear that she's just bullshitting everyone. Now, let's examine that claim that she made about natural immunity. So there's a lot of data out there currently, and in a meta-analysis released by the CDC in early November, scientists concluded that vaccines provide a higher, more robust, and more consistent level of immunity to protect people from COVID-19 than infection alone. 
meaning when someone is vaccinated, you can expect a certain level of immunity, whereas with a prior infection, the level of immunity will vary depending on the person, depending on how sick they were. But they did find that vaccines offer a huge boost in antibodies in people previously infected. And the bottom line ultimately is that, I mean, if you were previously sick, you should still get vaccinated. But again, even with the data, I, I mean, you don't need to dig into the details here. Even taking her position at face value, even assuming for a moment, pretending as if it is the case that natural immunity protects you far more than the COVID vaccines. Let's assume that that's true. Well, I mean, does that mean that you should go out and try to get infected like COVID-19, as was the case with Dennis Prager? No, because you're putting yourself at risk. The vaccination is virtually no risk to your health. You're going to feel a little bit sick for a couple of days. You're going to be achy. You'll have a headache. Your arm will be sore, but you're not going to be at risk of dying and having long-term health problems. She knows this, and the fact that she's pandering is what makes this so insufferable. So uh, I'm glad that Twitter user ACYN pointed this out. Um, look, this was a good find. I certainly wouldn't have caught this because I don't tune in to Fox News and CNN. I don't watch mainstream media. So whenever a clip like this goes viral, that's when I'll usually spot it. And this was just, this was gold right here. It really shows you who she is. And, you know, this sort of uh, calculative behavior where she'll say one thing to one group of people and a different thing to a different group of people, that to me signals that she has higher political ambition. So I wouldn't be surprised if she ran for president in a couple of years because someone who's that big of a bullshitter, like they're trying to be a people pleaser on purpose. So we'll wait and see. But either way, she should be embarrassed. Were you acting like a beta? Beta! Beta! Man, not a beta man.